Welcome to another one of my Unity 3D Asset Store reviews. And this time we're going to be reviewing the HQ Abandoned House from Next Level 3D. And the reason why is because I just saw this was on sale for 70% off. I got very excited when I saw it was $7.50 for what looks like a really beautiful house. So let's pop inside Unity and see if it really is as good as it looks. Alright, so here we are inside Unity 3D. And when I first loaded this up, I had a look at lighting, and it was complaining that I had to regenerate the lighting. I did that, and everything then looked a bit weird and washed out, and I didn't really like it. So I've gone back to the original save, uh, everything is dark and gloomy. It's probably as intended, it's supposed to be all lighter, but I wanted it to be a little bit atmospheric. Just before we do pop in, let me just open up this house. I want to show you that the entire outside of the house exterior of the house is actually one big object so don't expect this to be one of these modular builds that you can reuse the walls for and the ceiling for something like you construct or on a survival this is as you get it one big house almost if we got let's hide that we've got house floor ceilings there you go see it's about as best as we can get there are some walls like inner walls but um, you're better off just using other kits if you want to have a modular build. This is a big house you get in out of the box. So let's click play, go inside, see what it's like. Okay, see what I mean? A bit dark and gleamy. We've got F for our flashlight. Textures, um, there's not a high def as I thought they're going to be, a bit blurry. Um, and I don't know if it's because of, you know, the lighting and everything, but. Did expect them to be a little bit better than they are, but can't complain too much. Seven dollars fifty, twenty-five bucks full retail price, and it's better quality than a lot of assets I've seen so far for sale on the asset store. Um, can we open the windows from the outside? No. E is to do things. Let's open up this door, and the door opens outwards, smacks you in the face. Right, that's annoying, but. Don't worry, we can always just change the animations ourselves. But these kind of things, you just need to have a look at the door animation and change where it's got a negative value to a positive value. And then the door will close or actually open the other way. All right, see? Let's, sorry, let's just open and so we don't get smacked in the face. Okay, let's close it so no one comes and eats us. All right, so when I turn off the light, it is scary. So, you see what I mean? Atmospheric. You never know. What's that behind me? Oh, see? It's like, it's like Doctor Who, the statues. You know, the ones that when you, you don't look at the statues and they're moving and then you look at them and they stand still? You just imagine that's behind you. So, uh, yep, Doctor Who fan. Curtains, nice looking curtains. Windows, they open from the inside. You can see the reflection of my flashlight on the windows. I like the wallpaper, I like the top part. I like the wallpaper up here. Okay, that's all stained and uh, starting to fade at the top as it leads into these cracked ceilings and the nice light fittings that there are. They're light bulbs or golf balls, what it looks of it, not candles. And if you look, we don't actually have any light sockets on the walls. So, I don't know, were these an afterthought, you reckon? Or we just forgot to put the light socket, sockets, the light switches on the wall? Odd. Yeah, we get some paintings, nice looking paintings, nice frame. It does. You have the feeling of 3D with this frame, and you don't have that feeling of 3D wood with the bottom part of this wall, the skirting of this wall here. Likewise with the floor, the floor looks alright, but I don't get that feeling of a nice, you know, 3D texture. So let's have a look at this picture. Ah, barrel at sea. What is that? Is that an anchor? Odd. And lucky dip, and the door opens outwards, smacks me in the face. Okay, so there's a, another door to the outside world? Yeah, so a door to the outside world. I do you like the little patio, the little veranda walkie thing outside? What's the word? What is the word? Come on, you guys know words better than I do. I don't know words. Alright, so um, how do we get a dining table? We get chairs. Notice the same wallpaper theme throughout the house. 
So you could have mixed up a little bit. A bit of disappointment that you just get the same wallpaper throughout. Top part, this is the ceiling texture just gets copied over onto the wall here. So um, texture wise, we're not up, we don't have a plethora of textures, let's put it that way. There aren't an abundance of textures, but the ones you do get, they're, they're solid, they're doing the job. You get a nice table, table and chairs, I'm a fan of these. You can use these in another kit, because don't forget whenever you buy an asset, you always look at you saying, everyone pretty much thinks the same thing, I'm buying this kit, what can I use it for? Because otherwise, you're just buying a kit for the sake of, you know, just having it in your asset library at home. And I'm pretty sure most of us have got things that we've impulse purchased and never bothered using. Oh, I can't be standing on the table, dancing on the table. Um, all right, let's check out this. One, two, three doors, four doors. Okay, which one are we going to open first? Let's try this one. Lucky dip in or out, and it's out. It's weird. It hits you, and you like teleport backwards. Okay, broom closet, maybe. See, these textures do work. Can't close the door here. They do work well, and that leads back into the front of the house. Right, that's where we came in. So in here, got another little door and garage. One of my uh, that's nice. Favorite things in the house is a garage. You put lots of storage in here. Means that you don't get in trouble from the wife because then you leave all these boxes inside the house. Stick it all in the garage. Just make sure it don't have a hole in the ceiling for it to rain. Okay, these doors. Do these garage doors open? No. No, they don't. Let's turn off the flashlight. Let's see, it's dark without the flashlight on. Um, okay, let's pause it. Let's check out. Uh, have a look at this. Talking about flashlight. JavaScript file amongst a load of C sharp files. It's not even a complex JavaScript file. Look, it's just saying on update um, key press F, and it's got a little switch to saying, okay, light is off, then turn it on, flight is off, turn it um, on, turn it off, and make a clicky noise. Why couldn't that be a C sharp file? There's no need to stick even small little JavaScript files in there. A bit of it, change it to a C sharp file. I do, I'm not a big fan of mixing up C sharp and JavaScript in the same project. Are you? Stick a comment below if you are. If I'm, you think I'm being an idiot for moaning about mixing up the two? Is there some kind of best practice that you should mix up the two? I don't know, but I don't personally. I don't like it. Um, okay, where were we? We were looking at the garage doors before I started going off on a rant. Uh, not that one. Where are they? Garage gates. Here we go. Garage gate. So that's the frame. And I don't know why the door is called frame. But looks like. Yep. You see that? Each door is separate. So, job is a good one on that front. Let's get back in. So, if we wanted, we could just put an, a script on here to have the doors open. Um. A little bit annoying that they're not by standard in there, but really, if it was one big object, then we could complain. But it's a little bit of effort on our part, and we can animate those doors opening. Let's check out what's in here. And this one opened to the room. Nice, didn't smack us in the face this time. That same painting again, same wallpaper, and um, another door. Oh, here we go. This is the bathroom. So, mixing up a little bit, same texture for the uh, for the top though, and the door here, where's this door, um, okay, that's odd, every time I try to open this here, it's reopening this door, that is a weird bug, okay, very weird, what else we've got in here, we've got a mirror that doesn't have the reflection of my lamp, my flashlight, but again, that's probably because I it complained earlier about me needing to re rent, uh, regenerate all the lights and bake it again, but I didn't. So um, we get a sink. Doesn't open. It's annoying. Could have opened up and put a toilet roll in there. Talking about toilet roll, where's the toilet in the bath? No toilet, no bath. Uh, okay, nice floor texture, but no toilet, no bath. A little bit lazy. Uh, keep in mind, it's $7.50. $25 for retail price. It's a house, abandoned house. You'd expect the house to be abandoned of people 
not of toilets. Okay, I'm going to mark you down on that one, mate. Sorry, but I am. I expect to have a toilet in my house, otherwise I'll be using a bucket. And here is a, another long walk-in cupboard, walk-in room. Okay, so again with our spooky flashlight. Let's check upstairs and then we'll be done. A nice staircase. I'm taking the staircase out. Can we take the staircase out? Let's just pause it a second. Because I want that staircase. Stairs, stairs, stairs. There's stairs. Yes. Good. I, I want those stairs. I'm going I'm to put those in Ultimate Survival, my Ultimate Survival play about what I'm doing. I'm going to build these stairs. And we've got more ones. Pretty much the same wallpaper and texture and everything up here. Oh, a different painting though. Look at that. We've got a different painting. So there's three different paintings we get so far with this kit. And another empty room. A lot of empty rooms. Um, I like the way the light from the window. Let's open up. See, like that. That's nice. And can we climb outside? No, we can't climb outside. You can't like, expect this to be in something like miscreated. It would fit in well in miscreated, I reckon. Um, there's some weird. You can't see it, but I can feel it. I'm trying to move forward and I can't. There's some visible object here blocking me from going forward. That's another annoying bug. Same washroom and mirror. Again, if I'd baked it properly, you'd be able to see. Okay, can't. I'm trying to open this door and one behind me. It's doing it. And. Oh, smack. Wow, that just smacked me in the face and sent me going all the way down the stairs. Alright, don't expect to buy this and use the controller for anything because it's weird. There's a load of weird little bugs. I mean, how did. Okay. Open this and it I teleported down the stairs. So it pushed me down the stairs, but okay. Rent over. Last one. And see I moved backwards that time so it wouldn't smack me. Yay! I imagine we're above the garage now. So this is where Granny can come and stay when she wants to visit us. Stick her in the attic. I like it. I like it. It's nice. Little things like that, you know, that it's not a blocked off space. He thought about it and said no and on the attic to be usable space. Okay, seven dollars fifty. I would say definitely you need to rush out and get the seven dollars fifty if you're doing anything that requires an old abandoned house. Um, you could even change the textures, I suppose, on the top and use it as a, uh, a house that people are living in because the bottom textures for this wallpaper are good enough. It's just me. It's just used. Looks like regular old foot house that ha hasn't had the wallpaper done in a while. Um, 25 bucks. Can I recommend it? Well, I can recommend it over other similarly priced assets, to be honest. There's a lot of stuff on the asset store that's around the same price and you don't get as much high. You know, the quality of the models are nice. I like it. The quality of the garage are good. Um, but it's the pictures on the asset store looked better than what I'm experiencing in game and just hang on because I, I want to be fair I'm just going to load up that rebaked one that I did hang on a second here we go you see what I mean it's a lot lighter so it's a lot lighter I don't need a flashlight on when I turn it on it just makes everything go bleached um, so it's a lot lighter oh smack me in the face again teleport again it's annoying and you can see everything inside the house better. Less scary. Less scary. And let's go to the downstairs loo. Check out that mirror. Oh no, it was, in, well, it was in here, wasn't it? Where's your toilet? There's a toilet. Big house. Don't get me wrong, it's a very big house. See what you're getting for your money? And now we can see I'm a vampire! I cast no reflection. I knew it. This whole time we thought that the ghosts in the house were the monsters, but it turns out I was the monster the whole time. Well, how much am I going to give this out of five? Well, I'm going to give this um, two and a half ghosts out of five. What does that mean? Well, that means, yeah, $7.50. 
take out or blow off the dust from your PayPal account and pick it up if you need to get a house, if you want a house in your game, if you've got an FPS game, if you're doing something like Miscreated and you want to have a house that you know, you've got some loot in that people are going to find off on a field somewhere or on a farmhouse, it would be a nice farmhouse, this wouldn't it? Um, $25, yeah, I'd still say I recommend this at $25 if this is the kind of thing that you're looking for. Um, now, it annoys me that there are there's nothing in in way of furniture other than three different um, paintings, a sink, a mirror, dining room, chairs and table. So um, really, no toilet, not even a bucket, not even a, not even a bucket, and no bath, not even a sponge. Little things like that, annoying. Little things like that, stopping this from getting anything higher than two and a half ghosts, in my opinion. So. Um, there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. I got very excited when I saw this on sale at 750. If you see anything else that you want me to have a play with, um, let me know. And if you like these videos and you want to see more of them, click on that subscribe button and put some comments saying about how wonderful these videos are, or even, you know, say about how rubbish they are. At least let me know you've seen it. And if uh, you do like it, remember, click it. Till next time. And if you like this video and you want to see more, click on that nice big red subscribe button that's down below. And on the left side of your screen, hopefully there's some videos playing, so why don't you just give them a click and see what it's all about. Remember, if you like it, click it.